what forces are involved in the dissolution of salts? Well, I just said that uh, ionic bonds in the salt crystal lattice are broken. Intermolecular hydrogen bonds between water are broken. And then we're also forming bonds between the ions and the water. So we're getting a, a different set of bonds being now involved. So the, there are lattice ionic bonds involved, there are hydrogen bonds involved, and then now there are ion dipole bonds involved. Question two, define the terms endothermic and exothermic processes. So here we need to make sure we answer both parts of the question. An endothermic reaction is when the heat energy required to break the bonds is greater than the heat energy required to form the bonds. The result is that the temperature of the solution will go down and we can feel it as cold. An exothermic reaction is when the heat energy required to break bonds is less than the heat energy required to form bonds. So we get a rise in the temperature and that means the solution will feel hot. Question three, is the following reaction endothermic or exothermic? So we look at the reaction, but what we really need to take note of is the delta H energy levels. Is it negative or positive? So endothermic processes, the delta H is positive, and in this case it's negative, so it's incorrect. And if it's neither uh, endothermic or exothermic, that means the delta H will be zero. And in this case we have a negative number. So that means a negative number is exothermic. So because exothermic reactions produce energy and therefore it's a negative number. So here uh, B is the answer because negative and exothermic. So question four, is the following reaction endothermic or exothermic? So we have the equation here, but again, we don't really need the equation for this question. We're just looking at the delta H number. So in an exothermic process, the delta H is negative. Um, in this case, it's positive, so this uh, answer is incorrect. And again, with the delta H being zero, that means there's no change in enthalpy, and therefore um, this is not the case because we have a positive number here. If it was no change in enthalpy, it would be zero, so it's also incorrect. And this process is endothermic because we said that endothermic processes, the delta H is positive, so A is correct. Question five, how can you measure enthalpy changes? Well, we covered this this lesson as well as last lesson, and it's really what we're doing is looking at calorimetry. So enthalpy changes can be measured by a process known as calorimetry. It's a technique to, change, uh, to look at the change of temperature uh, of a known mass of solid dissolved in a known amount of water uh, in a heat insulated container so then we can accurately measure changes in, in the heat. So what we were looking at here today is dissolution of salts. So when we dissolve salts in, a, in water, is the solution going to be endothermic, so taking in energy and making it feel cold, or is it going to be exothermic, so producing energy uh, releasing energy into the surroundings and making the solution feel hot.